medical school, which can make things tough. You now have six different teachers that can make things really tough. Today we are going to talk about what happens when you appear at dead ends, both socially and academically. Let us first start with academics. Academics are the school-related stuff. Okay, that's probably easy to understand. But in middle school, there's a new challenge ahead. And this one isn't like those game mode challenges in, in, in the famous video game Color Switch. These are much harder than that. You see, tests you have to study for. Studying is important because whatever you study is kind of reflects on your answers. It's been true for most of us. In fact, to all of us. And tests go for 60% of your grade is the big news. So, what does that mean to us? A lot. So it's time, so we should probably do studying. We've got these, yes, your teachers will probably help you with like a little study guide, but they will also help you, but there are some things that you have to do, what you have to do with giving it. Not only do you have to keep practicing the study guide, but you have to keep using this app called Quizlet, and it's very, very good for, for doing stuff, for like doing studying, so that's a good thing to be using. And then there's, then there's being absent. Absent, to be absent, it's like, it's like the saying, you snooze, you lose. You have, because work goes for 40% of your grade, if, but if you get like a 50 on it, your grade will still ethically drop. And if it's like an exempt, it will probably not be counted against you, but it, will, it would be still good to be doing it. So, like to you, so like, let us now talk about attendance. Attendance is really important. Attendance is like, it just, because if you're gone for like five minutes, you're gonna lose, you're gonna lose a lot of info. Now, we must talk tech here. We have these smartphones, I, and these things will actually help you with studying, which is really good. So, studying and grades because now we have this tool called My Student. It's being introduced, and My Student is mostly like a student info system. And you can, and you can check your grades, you can check what you need to do to get yourself into that goal of happiness and finding yourself academically successful. So, which can tell you which things that you need to study for, and basically you can just do it online. Your middle school can be rough. You go from learning five subjects all from one classroom and having music, PE, and art from another room to learning reading, science, language arts, math, world history, and an elective. All in different classrooms, all taught by different teachers. On your first day, when everything is brand new, it can be rough. My first day of school was not fun. It was overwhelming, and I got lost at a very frequent way. When I was walking somewhere that I had no idea where it was or, um, or what was around it, I got all lost again. When I finally made it to class, I was late because I was really confused and had no idea where I was. The first day of school doesn't have to be that way. There, there are tips and tricks that you can do and follow to be the best royal knight you can be at River Ridge. Academics are always the number one thing to know a few things about in school, but knowing some ways to make friends or do well, emotionally speaking, are important too. A good tip in middle school will be to meet new people. Don't stick to the same people for projects. Meet new people and work with them. See how it goes. After all, you might end up being best buddies. Speaking of which, I met my best friend at middle school. My best friend went to a different school, and then we met at school, and before I could blink an eye, a beautiful friendship started, and we have been friends ever since. Plus, another great um, tip for middle school is that you should do your homework 100% of the time. You may not want to, and I get it, no one does, but it'll help um, you understand the material and it will in 
Can you stop there, please? Because you are unsure if the answer is A or D, it's just stressing you out even more. Pick your answer and have faith and confidence in what you choose. Always go back and check it to make sure it's correct, but have confidence that you got it right. If you don't stress, and if you do all of your work, you'll have more time to make friends and not be stuck doing academic work because you didn't do it beforehand. Lastly, part of being a good way all night is to always be kind and treat others with respect as you'd want to be treated. This year, a fight broke out with one kid trying to punch the other with as much force as the kid could muster, while the other was just trying to defend the punches. I bet that fight wouldn't have broken out if they had tried to talk about it, or at least let it go and, and not let it escalate to that level. Plus, you can trust the staff at River Ridge. They're there to help you uh, out on your path to being a successful student at River Ridge. If you need something or if you're stuck, feel free to ask. I'm willing to bet they will be more than willing to help you out. Plus, if you see things such as bullying or people fighting each other, tell the staff. They are there to not only help you, but also to make this school a safe and comfortable environment. And cut! For studying. Also, when you take your unit test, do not stress. It will only get in your way and negatively affect your performance. Um, I, I used to stress all the time before, during, and after tests because I wondered if I would get a good score. But now I realize that you should take a deep breath and put your best foot forward and do your best. Now, now we all get nervous before tests, but second guessing yourself and being on a question for 20 minutes and cut.